Now that we know how to integrate TypeScript within Vit project, in this lesson we're going to see how to integrate ESLint, which is a static analysis tool for JavaScript. So let's get started, and in our main.ts file we're gonna add one ESLint violation. Let's add a semicolon after this function declaration. And since we're gonna have to make ESLint analyze TypeScript files, there is a special plugin for it that we can use called TypeScript ESLint. This tool basically enables ESLint support for TypeScript. And as always, the first thing we have to do before using this plugin is to install all necessary dependencies. So let's copy over this command and run it in our terminal. On the next step, we will actually have to create configuration file for ESLint with a name.eslintrc.cjs and paste there the following content. So in my editor, I'm going to create new file with this name, paste here all the content I have just copied, and then again let's go back to the browser, and as a third step, we are ready to run our ESLint. So to execute ESLint, we need to run npx ESLint, and as an argument to this command, we specify the folder where ESLint should be executed. In our case, it's fine to specify a root folder of our project, so I'm gonna use dot. Let's execute this command in a terminal, and as we can see as a result, there are a lot more errors as we have initially expected. And among all these errors, we also can see that error we have made intentionally by adding semicolon to the end of the function declaration. And by the way, the rest of errors are coming from analyzing JavaScript files. So we need to ignore all the JavaScript files and run ESLint only within TypeScript files. And to tell ESLint which files it should ignore, we can create special file for ESLint called .eslintignore, and here we can list those files that should be ignored. So, to ignore all JavaScript files, we can use the following notation, asterisk .js. So after that, if we're gonna execute npx eslint again, we're gonna see only one error, which is that error that is coming from our TypeScript file, where we have intentionally added semicolon to the end of function declaration. So as we can see, to run ESLint checks in with projects, we need to start a separate ESLint process alongside our main with build process. And this is also recommended by Vit to prevent deferring main build process. But if you don't want to do this and prefer that Vit will run ESLint during the build process, we can achieve it by installing the following plugin, Vit Plugin Checker. We have already used this plugin in the previous lesson when we were integrating TypeScript within Vit project. But besides of integrating TypeScript, this plugin is also capable of integrating other tools, and one of such tools is ESLint. And this time we're not going to install this plugin again, since we have already installed it in the previous lesson. So in here let's open up documentation to run ESLint, and the first thing to do before running ESLint is actually install ESLint executable on a system. And then we're gonna make Vit use this executable to run ESLint checks. And to achieve it, we need to copy the following lines, go to our Vit configuration file vitconfig.js and paste those lines in here. Like this. Here we're basically specifying the command which will be used to run ESLint. And as we can see, this command also contains pass to files that ESLint should scan. And since in our case TypeScript files is located within the root of our project, let's correct this pass by removing source folder. And after this, if we open up our browser again, we're gonna see ESLint error in here. So our ESLint integration works perfectly, and now every time Vilt is going to build our project, at the same time is going to run ESLint analyzer and show all ESLint errors in the following form. And by the way, the same output we can see in the server logs, in the terminal tab where we executed npm run dev command. And now just to see if this error is going to disappear, we're going to switch over to main.ts and remove this semicolon from here. Going back to the browser again, and this time we don't see any ESLint errors. And of course message saying that no errors were found appears in the logs right here. And this is how easy it is to integrate ESLint into Vit projects.